Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today we're talking about the Oculus Quest version 13 updates. Let's go! Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. Woo! That's right, my name is Lazius K. Oof. Okay, today plenty to talk about, so let's get started. Now today is February 5th, but don't worry, they're gonna be rolling out these new updates in the week of February 3rd onwards. So if you're not able to download them manually right now, don't worry, it's absolutely normal. Let's talk about hand tracking courtesy of Upload VR's YouTube footage. As you can see now with the hand tracking, all you have to do is bring the remotes down and then it will change directly into the hand. So that is pretty awesome. Other improvements include events. You can now start a party direct from a live events detail page to help you and your friends get into the events together more efficiently. They've made improvements to the Oculus event invite feature. Event hosts can now allow guests to invite their own friends. Viewing a developer created event will now allow you to view a list of all your friends who have indicated that they are interested in the events. Similar to the events pages on Facebook and of course, privacy is quite important. So they've also updated the privacy feature where they allow us the option whether we want other people to know what events we're going to be taking part in or interested in, or whether we want to keep that a secret. According to their website, they've also made some changes to the UI and the behavior of search, which they're at the moment testing out. So they also made some improvements to their apps, one of them being the scoreboard. Scoreboards will allow you to see how your achievement and leaderboard accomplishments compare to your friends. But do know that this feature is rolling out slowly to all the users, so maybe not everybody is actually gonna have that right now. Apparently the storage manager has also received a makeover. And also the user profiles have apparently been updated too. Now there's been some updates with the Oculus Link. You now have the ability to reset your Guardian from within Dash while using Oculus Link. A button to enable Oculus Link has been added to the Quest system menu bar. They fixed an issue where the audio was only audible when Dash was present. They also fixed an issue where Home would not load when enabling Oculus Link. And finally, they fixed an issue where the audio would only work for some users if it was set to 100%. Now, one of the biggest issues for us using the Oculus Link is that other people can't actually hear us when we're speaking through the microphone of the Oculus Quest. Now, there's no mention in version 13 that this has actually been fixed, but there's also no mention that it's still a problem. But I hope that that is something they have worked on. They also fixed some other bugs like text being displayed oddly here and there, as well as some tracking issues that were occurring. For the full list of bugs, go to the link description below where it will lead you to the Oculus official website. Thanks for watching this Oculus Quest version 13 update video. Remember to click the like and subscribe button so that you and I, together we can grow the community and help as many people in VR. Yeah, because that is what it's all about. In the next video, I'm gonna be talking about the AMVR magnetic charging station. So hit that bell notification icon so that you get notified when I upload that cool video. Whew. All right, guys, until next time, thank you again for watching. I really appreciate your support. Take it easy and DJ, cue music.